When you think of Penticton, you probably reminisce about a city between two lakes, in the middle of wine country. Beautiful beaches, water sports, outdoor adventure, with world-class rock climbing and cycling. A true Four Seasons Paradise. Plus renowned for being the host community for so many festivals and events. Yet you undoubtedly will also reminisce about its rich hockey history. From the 1955 World Champion V's. The Okanagan Hockey School being the longest continuously running hockey school in the world the BC Hockey Hall of Fame and having one of this country's most storied junior hockey franchises. In this series, we will look at Penticton V's past, present and into the future and go behind the scenes as the current BCHL champions fight to defend their title. This one's for you, Penn Six, and the V's are 2022 Front Page Cup champions! On the road. And in the locker room. what billet life is like, game day production and broadcast, the BCHL All-Star Game festivities, and of course, the playoffs. This and much, much more. These Nation, making hockey history. Today, we look at the Ring of Honor. Well, we wanted to bring the past, the present, and the future together when we bought the V's and, and starting the Ring of Honor was to allow the fans who, who've watched players over many decades, you know, be able to remember some of the, the great players of the past and, and still connect to them and, the, and those great teams that we were here. And, and we, we really wanted to, to have the past alumni be involved moving forward. And, and we felt that was a great way to recognize the alumni through the Ring of Honor. Well, I think you can learn from the past. I think there's a, there's a lot of stories that can be told that can help the present and the future. And, and uh, so I think you, and you never want to forget about the past, just like in, uh, in life. I, I think uh, just in hockey, there's, there's a lot of lessons that can be learned. And, uh, and keeping that, that rich history, heritage alive, I think is important. You know, I think wherever you go through our locker room through the halls and then you see up for the fans to be able to see the ring of honor like it's it's you know we understand that our the strength of our organization now has been built by everybody before us and and so our alumni is so important uh again i think our our, our junior team has more of a maybe a college ncaa feel to it if that makes sense to people it's where you know, and I think we have to, you know, give back to, the, to those alumni and, and, and sort of honor them in different ways. And the Ring of Honor was is an outstanding way to do that. I was fortunate enough to, to be named in the Ring of Honor here in Penticton. And uh, it was nice, to, what was nice about that was to be able to see all, a lot of my former teammates that I played uh, those first couple of years um, of my junior hockey with. Uh, Obviously, uh, with kids and everybody's got busy lives, it'd uh, be nice to get together a little bit more, but uh, um, that was certainly a special night uh, 
to be a part of that and, and see those guys there. And, and more than anything, I, I think just see the, the Panthers days uh, recognized and have those guys out on the ice with me and, and my son and, um, and take in that moment. Well, it's, uh, it's uh, certainly a huge, uh, huge honor. And, uh, um, you know, just to have your name up on the wallet, it's kind of surreal, you know, you don't uh, expect something like that or envision something like that uh, when you're younger. And uh, you look at some of the names up there uh, right next to, to Paul Korea and Brendan Morrison, two guys that I idolized. And uh, I was fortunate enough to, to be able to play a season with Brendan in Chicago. The, uh, the Ring of Honor, it's, uh, what can I say? It's, uh, you know, it's uh, certainly a, a huge honor and a privilege to, to be up there. And uh, something that uh, I know that uh, myself, my family uh, cherish. Well, growing up in Penticton, that's real special. Uh, my next door neighbor, Andy Moke, he's there. Uh, but I, I look at this year, you know, Duncan Keith uh, got, you know, played here with the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Al Formal um, was inducted last year. Al Formal was a bus driver when I played. Um, Neil Jamison, who did so much for the city as another builder, you know, but just so many players, Paul Korea, and you know, the list goes on and on. Uh, so to have my name uh, with that group is very special. Uh, I started with the team uh, in 1969. Uh, <clears throat> I was not only the bus driver, uh, I, I did drive the, the bus for 27 years, and, uh, uh, but I was doing uh, color on the broadcasts. And uh, I did that right up to, to uh, 2013, and uh, uh, probably broadcast about 2,500 games. Well, it was a complete surprise, and it was a thrill. And it and it is an honor. I uh, I did put in a lot of time and effort with the hockey club, and I did it for the love of the game, the love of the kids, the love of the owners and coaches throughout the years. I've met so many great people, and you and I felt like part of a family that that uh, that we all appreciated each other, and I think that was. Uh, uh, it was never an effort for me to go to the rink or jump on the bus and drive, drive the bus uh, all winter long because it, it, uh, it, it was, I guess I'd have to call it my hobby. Well, you know, junior hockey uh, in Penticton really, re uh, it, uh, it's kind of like going to a, a reunion every hockey game. Uh, you know, you get to meet people you haven't seen for a long time. Uh, you get to visit a little bit. And of course, everybody's got the, we want to win attitude. And, uh, I think it unites the community. And uh, it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing. It, 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 it's great benefits to, to the city of Penticton and it's, uh, and the people here to uh, to have that time together, and, and people look forward to it every year. Three thousand people in the in the stands on an average night in, for a junior hockey team in Penticton. It's amazing, and uh, it's 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 you know there's a real love fest going on here. The, the the owners love the coaches, and the coaches love the players, and the players love the fans, and 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 it's. Uh, it, it's, uh, it catches you when you go in, you feel it when you go into the, the arena. It's a, it's a wonderful experience. Oh, it means so much. Uh, when you look at the people that are being, that have, are being honored up there, uh, it's, it's, it's very important to me. I treat it with the greatest respect. Well, in terms of proud moments in my six-year tenure with the team there were many uh, when you think about winning the Allen Cup it was it was almost it, it was the most sought-after trophy in Canada at that time the only other one was the Stanley Cup but it was the most sought after so to bring that to this community the way we did taking hundred and two hockey games to bring the Allen Cup National Championship was a very proud moment. 
And I'm not so sure that it was any less prideful than standing on the blue line in Germany having won the world championship and having a, having a, a gold medal placed over your, your shoulders. Those two, I would have to say, were the most proud moments I had uh, in hockey. Growing up in Penicton, playing my minor hockey here, and uh, being involved with the junior team, Okanagan Hockey School and Okanagan Hockey Academy, that uh, having your name in the ring of honor in the SOEC and being in the Hockey Hall of Fame in the SOEC is probably the ultimate, uh, is probably the, uh, the ultimate uh, recognition that you could bid for, have for growing up in, in, in a community. Well, it's amazing. It's uh, it's like an NHL rink, you know, a lot different from uh, from when I played. But it's uh, it's great to see the history here and uh, see how far the franchise has come. Really unexpected and, and uh, a huge honor. I mean, and, and it's a process as a player going through everything and, and uh, improving and and becoming the best player you can be. And and if you focus on uh, on improving, becoming a better player, you know, individual awards come your way and through the process. And like I said, this is not something that I ever expected, but I'm I'm really honored and, and grateful for it. Well, the Ring of Honor, it's, it's, it's special. It's, um, you know, the, the, the criteria is, is, is obviously pretty open to the, to the fact it's not kind of one, one thing. It's, you know, it, you know, it's clearly people that have, that have done a lot for the organization, but probably for the game of hockey and the, and the city of Penticton, you know, all kind of encompassing. And, and so a lot of special names have been up there, uh, you know, this past year, you know, putting Al Formal and Duncan Keith are, are very well deserved. And, and um, you know, for me with Al, you know, you just every time you meet with Al, he, he kind of gives you a history les lesson on the BC Hockey League, Penticton Hockey, and, and it, you know, it was you could see how how much it meant to him and his family, and and same for Duncan. I think um, you know, I, I remember seeing Duncan for the first time when I was coaching a different junior team coming through here, uh, looking at players, and it was the Panthers at the time, and. You know, to see what his uh, career has turned into and, and um, is pretty remarkable. In Penticton, something really special, the Ring of Honor that was uh, launched back in 2017. Uh, it's, it's great. It's something that uh, makes it feel like the big leagues that you see in professional sports when they have Ring of Honors and Hall of Fames uh, at their venues. And Penticton to adopt that and make it their own here is something really special. I know it means a lot to a lot of alumni on the ice or a lot of builders category alumni as well. You know, this year we had Duncan Keith and Al Formal go up to the rafters, two very important members of the Penticton Junior Hockey history for completely different reasons. And for have them to come together was the perfect marriage on that night uh, when they played Sam and Arm and raised the banner because you had two guys that are instrumental in Penticton Junior Hockey history for two different reasons. Duncan Keith his resume speaks for itself. You go online, he's won everything he possibly can as a hockey player from junior hockey right up to NHL and international with World Juniors, Olympics, World Championship medals, and his decorated NHL career. Then Al Formo, who might be one of the most well-known Penticton junior hockey people outside of maybe Fred Harbinson, everyone knows what Al Formo meant to Penticton junior hockey for decades from 1960s to the 2012 RBC Cup team. He was a voice of junior hockey from the V's to the Broncos, to the Knights, to the Panthers. He did it all. He was a broadcaster for this team for over 40 years. And that's unheard of longevity in, in sports in general, not just junior hockey history. Uh, it's legendary. And to see him honored as well in his hometown after all the sacrifice he has made to the game and given to the game, being a bus driver for the team for over 20 years, not having a single accident as a bus driver and then as a broadcaster. So imagine that, you drive a team to a road game, to Powell River, for example, that's you know 13 hour day. Then you get off the bus, you don't rest, you put a headset on, you broadcast a game and you drive back. It's incredible stamina and longevity to do that. So to see him rightfully recognized was really special as well. And the Ring of Honor is just one of those things that Penticton does that no one else can really say they do in the BCHL as well as the V's. It's one of those classy, top-notch, first-class things. And you see the Ring of Honor now with all its members. It's first-class organization and a first-class uh, thing they do.